Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at break-even analysis, which is an essential calculation for new businesses and new business units. Why? Well, because all new businesses will want to understand when they can expect to be profitable. Break-even analysis allows you to understand at what point your sales will cover your costs. This point is known as your break-even point, or BEP for short. Now, at break-even point, you're not making a profit, but you're not incurring a loss either. You can graphically represent a break-even analysis by using a break-even chart, as you can see here. Now, this chart tells us the different costs incurred at various sales levels. You can interpret this chart as follows. So first we have the X axis showing us the number of units sold. Then we have the Y axis representing sales revenue generated in dollars. Next we have this revenue line you can see here and that shows the amount of revenue generated as an increasing number of units is sold. Next, we have the costs line here, and that shows how the costs incurred by the business change as a growing number of units is sold. Now, when you sell a low number of units, your costs are higher than your revenue, and that means you're making a loss. So that's this area shaded in red in the diagram. Now the point where your revenue and costs intersect, this point here, is your break even point. So total costs are the same as total revenue, meaning you're neither making a profit or a loss. And then beyond this point where revenue exceeds costs, shaded green here, you're making a profit. Now, from the diagram, you can see here that costs don't start at zero. And that's because these are your fixed costs. So as soon as you make your first sale, your costs begin to increase. So that's calculated by taking your fixed costs and adding the variable cost of selling one unit. Now, as more units are sold, your costs continue to climb. However, as you sell more units, your costs don't climb as quickly as your revenue. So eventually you reach your break even point. And then beyond that, as even more units are sold, you move into profit where revenue exceeds all costs. Now, there are two types of costs to consider when you're performing your break even analysis, fixed costs and variable costs. So fixed costs are costs that remain the same regardless of how many units you sell. You have to spend this money before you can even sell unit number one. So example, examples of fixed costs are things like rent, insurance, property taxes, and salaries. So your fixed costs will typically stay the same over the short term. They may change over the long term. So for example, if your business is successful and you decide to move to a bigger office and hire more people, then your rent and salary bill will increase. The other cost we have to think about is variable costs. So these are the costs that change directly in proportion to how many units you make. So examples include things like raw materials, packaging, commission, delivery costs, and your piece labor rate. When you conduct a break-even analysis, the first thing that you want to do is calculate your break-even point. And to do this, you can use the formula shown here by taking fixed costs and dividing it by your selling price minus your variable costs. Now, before we jump in and look at an example of this, let's just focus on the bottom line of this equation, selling price minus variable costs. This part of the calculation has a name and that name is contribution margin. Now, because of that, you can rewrite this equation like this. And one way to think of contribution margin is as being the amount each unit contributes towards firstly covering fixed costs and then later growing profits. So let's take a look at an example. In this scenario, you want to launch a new business selling a smartphone app. 
To do that, you need to make some assumptions about your costs and your revenue. So these are the assumptions we're making. We're expecting our selling price to be $5. Our estimated fixed costs are $75,000. So that's enough maybe to cover your salary and pay for a small office. And these are costs that will not change with the number of apps you sell. Next, we have your variable costs, and we estimate these are going to be 0.25 or a quarter of a dollar per sale. So these are going to be your transaction fees you may need to pay for each sales. So armed with this information, we can calculate break-even point as follows. So 75,000 divided by five minus 0.25, and that roughly adds up to meaning that you'll need to sell 15,790 units of your app to break even. Now, the real benefit of break even and that point analysis isn't just that it allows you to calculate your break even point. The real power of the model is that it allows you to run through several scenarios to help you understand what price is going to work best for your business. So let's run through a few different scenarios to see how changing different variables can affect when we become profitable. So firstly, let's look at the impact of making a price change. So what would happen if you sold your app for $12 instead of five? Well, in this instance, you'd need to sell 6,383 units of the app to break even. So that's calculated as 75,000 divided by 12 minus 0.25. Now that's still a high number of units. But what, so what if you sold the app for $3 per month and expected your customers to stay for an average of one year? Well, in this case, you'd need to sell just 2,098 copies of your app to break even. Like I've said already, this is the real benefit of break even analysis, allowing you to run through several scenarios to understand what price or cost structure is going to work best for you. So now let's move on and look at what would happen if we changed our fixed costs. So suppose you wanted to allocate some money to marketing, maybe a thousand dollars per month on influencer marketing. So that spending is going to add $12,000. So that's a thousand dollars times 12 months to your fixed cost. So based on this example, if we build on the example we've just used, that's going to result in us needing to sell 2,434 units in order to break even. So that's about an additional 350 units. So finally, let's take a quick look at changing our variable costs. So suppose you want to send a personal thank you card by mail to everyone who purchases the app. We can adjust our break even analysis to understand how that's going to impact your profitability. So if we estimate that each card we send is going to cost a dollar, then that will mean we'll need to sell 2,504 units in order to reach break-even point. So in summary, break-even analysis allows you to analyze how many units of your product or service you need to sell in order to break even. But the real power of the model is how it allows you to scenario plan your profitability based on changes to selling price or costs. In particular, it's a really useful tool to use when setting the price of a new product or service or new business. So that's it for this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.